Another part that you want to keep an eye on is blocks, soulmate blocks. And there's top, there's three that I think are very important to be mindful. Of. So I'm going to start with the third one. The first thing that will actually block the energy between you and your soulmate is if you catch yourself comparing yourself to others. For example, if you're thinking, well, why does she have a partner and I don't? Or why can't I have what they have? That kind of thing. Because what that does is you're taking the energy off yourself and you're projecting it onto someone else and you're missing the opportunities to do the lesson, to do the work, to get yourself ready for your soulmate. If you catch yourself doing this, my recommendation is to redirect the energy to yourself and focus on, okay, well, what are you happy with yourself? What, where do you want to improve yourself? Do you want to work on your learning? Do you want to work on your fitness? What, what do you want to work on your home? Like, where do you want to grow? Because when, as soon as you compare yourself to someone else, especially if it's something that's not fair, why do they have it? Or why does she have it? Or why does he have that? It blocks the energy because it takes away from your power and your energy and just clear it just take a deep breath and just know that it's in your power that you're going to manifest you and your soulmate and it just right now it's a moment where you're working on yourself and then go from there the second block is thinking and this is a, a big one is having the thought that you'll never find your soulmate when we think that we're actually putting out the energy to the universe that hey i you know i don't believe they exist i don't think it's going to happen so the universe reacts to our thoughts so as soon as we put that out the universe is going to be like oh okay wait don't send a soulmate because they're not ready they're not they don't feel or believe in the energy so what you want to do is create a an energy whether if you're doing reiki if you're working with your crystals if you're burning sage whatever you do to clear energy you want to clear it it's okay to have a moment if you're frustrated and it's okay to vent if you need a good cry to release that it's okay you just don't want to dwell on it and as soon as if you catch yourself that you think of it just take a deep breath and think cancel i know my soulmate's there i know it's going to happen it's going to make sense and just believe in your power and not only your power but also to your soulmate's power because it's an energy that they're there and it's something that you want to trust the journey for you guys to find each other and the number one block which i think many already know is we keep thinking it's someone from the past so it's similar to the first one where if we compare ourselves to others it's similar to the number three block when we if we compare ourselves to another couple or another person if you think about someone from the past an ex or someone that you want to be with what happens is you're limiting the energy between you and your soulmate but also to you and the the universe so what you want to do is you can honor like if there's someone that you're thinking about it's okay to have a thought and just be like okay i hope they're well or whatever but if you find that you're only thinking about them and you're not creating any you're not putting any energy to create a space for someone new or to create a space to uh, to meet your partner what happens is the universe puts everything on hold and nothing happens so and here's the thing too and i've seen it over the years i've been doing readings if you and someone are meant to be it will happen there's nothing you're going to do that will stop that what you want to do is let go of the energy of the past so you can make way for the new if you, and just keep reminding yourself if you're meant to be it will happen but if there's someone else there for you create that space and if you catch yourself thinking about someone, especially because a lot of intuitives, what happens is we can't stop thinking about someone because the energy is so loud or it's stuck. So one technique, which doesn't sound very psychic, but it does work, is if you find you can't stop thinking about someone, what you want to do is every time you think about them, especially when it's not letting you go, in your mind, say the alphabet four or five times in a row. And you keep saying it in your mind until you forget what you were thinking about. And then what you do is redirect it. It's very important during this energy to maybe look into a new book, taking a class, doing research on something, something to get your mind off it. So that way you're clearing the energy. And the other part too, when you clear energy, especially from someone in the past, it gives them an energetic kick in the pants for them to do the work that they need to. 
But if you guys are meant to be together, you give them that kick where, okay, like I'm not nurturing the energy of the past. I'm creating an energy for something new. It just helps them move that forward. But the other part to you is you're giving back your power to yourself, saying that, no, I'm not settling for the past. I need something new and stronger. So it's very important to keep clearing that energy and to believe in your heart that your soulmate is coming and is there. 